Julie. <laughs> you look just sick as can be. Are you tired of napping? Yeah, because I want to go to my dance. And he wants to play Fortnite at no. the Verizon store because just you get a special skin. I don't think you should be able to go to gymnastics. You should be laying in bed sleeping. What do you guys think of my lip color? <laughs> um, I did not do my makeup today, except I've been trying to take better care of my skin. I've used some new products. I'm trying Rodin and Fields this time. Anyway, I did a few lip colors on my Insta stories and some of you have asked where I got the lipsticks. Anytime I can find a good drugstore product, I'm excited. So, my friend Candace from Old Home Love Network showed me this and so I had to get in every color and I found them at Walmart for $7 a piece. And they make your lips super dry, which I actually don't mind. But then I use, is this bad that these are Maybelline and I use a CoverGirl um, clear gloss to go over it. Are you tired of napping? Yeah, because I wanna, because I wanna go to my dance. My oldest was really good at napping. Chad was really good at napping. Um, Eve stopped napping when she was 18 months old. I literally couldn't lay with her and get her to go to sleep. I don't know what it is except, well, yes I do, it's just the constant running around that I've just been so exhausted. And she came home from preschool today and I said, Eve, mommy really needs to lay down, take a nap. So we're gonna eat lunch, and then we're gonna eat a popsicle outside, and then we're gonna lay down on the bed and close our eyes. And do you know what Eve said? I said yes. And I was so impressed. I was like, Eve, you said yes. So we went and laid down and I got all comfortable and I started dreaming. And then the phone called. And it was Kevin saying, Julie's been trying to get a hold of you. She's throwing up at school and you need to go get her. So we're gonna head over to the school. We are going to get Julie and then we'll come back and take you to dance. Okay? Okay. As far as I can tell, the only downside to having this big camera, I've loved it. Remember, this is the camera, it's huge. Um, the only downside is I can't attach it to the attachment I had in the, in the card. I'm just gonna have to hold it, but, um, I do believe Julie's really sick because on Sunday I got enormously sick. Like I ate a fruit snack. One minute later, I thought I was going to die. I texted Kevin, I was teaching a primary class at church and I texted Kevin, I said, you need to get in here and teach my class for me right now. And then the next day, Chad was throwing up and he told me he ate 15 fruit snacks the night before, like 15 bags of fruit snacks. And I swear, I never buy him. But the one time I buy them, we had a bad batch. Maybe it wasn't food poisoning we had. Maybe it really was the flu or the bug or something. Oh, Julie, <laughs> you look just sick as can be. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. I still need to get my stuff though. Okay, how long have you been waiting for me? Over an hour. Have you been throwing up in here? I'm not throwing up, but like, I'm not like sick, like throwing up, but like really big headaches, really dizzy, and like. So you haven't thrown up? No, but I was about to in class. I just want to make sure this is that you're you really are sick, because they told me you were throwing up, but you weren't. I said I was about to throw up in class. Okay. Like, it was enough for a throw up, but like. Okay, all right, go get your things. Okay. okay. I love it. I love it. Okay, are you ready? I think 
Yeah. This way. So walk up to the front. Bye, Mom. Do you just go in? Did you win Biggest Dancer today? What? That is awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you serious? Oh, there's some more on the other side. Uh, I am so sorry. I feel so dumb. Mother, could you take me to the Verizon store? No. Why? Chad wants to play a game. No, and you could also get my phone changed at the same time. I don't have time today. Why? You're reading. Because, because I have to take Russell to a football game. <laughs> Yay! And then I have to take... You'll never have time. Julie, no. Chad wants to go to the Verizon store to change his number on his phone because he keeps getting inappropriate texts. Somehow his number had been put on a list, so we have to get his number changed. I don't know how that happened. And he wants to play Fortnite at no, the Verizon store because you get a special skin. Get a special skin. And I'm telling him it's a marketing, it's a genius marketing plan, scheme, ploy to get kids, Fortnite fans to go to the Verizon store. The answer is not today, but another time. And I am saying another time because your attitude has been 100% really great. You've had a couple, okay, so like 98% great. Okay. So the answer is another time. Okay. Thank you and for saying okay. I have no homework, so until football practice, can okay. I go to a fence walk? When's football practice? Six o'clock. And you have no homework? No homework. Tell well, everybody what you got on your math test. A 95%. 95%. And Abby's teacher called me today and said she got 100%. Well, my well, no, math I'm not, tests I'm not are saying, harder, no, so I'm, yeah. I, that came out wrong. That came out wrong. I did not mean to up one on you. What I meant was yes, you're, you're proud of Abby, too. And you. So, yeah. yeah. That, I'm mm -hmm. saying you're both doing great. Can we, can we talk here for a little bit? Julie, not just... Yes. Thank you. Yes, you can play. Yes, you can go to a friend's house. That's fine. You're awesome. Love you. You Love are worth it. Um, Julie just asked if she can go. This conversation. What? I want to get out of this conversation. Oh, oh no. This is an uncomfortable conversation. We must have. My Matt, are you angry at me? <sighs> Let's sit. Shall we? Let's sit. Okay. This has started way too early. I, I am gonna say one nice thing, and that is you took your lashing very well. I had a few choice words to give to Julie today in the car that I was really upset about. So last year, you called a lot saying, I'm sick, can you come get me from one, school? One, it was really true on Teddy Bear Day when I was in first grade. There may have been one time in all of those times you were really sick, but when the boy calls wolf too many times and when the school is no longer three minutes away from home, it's 30 minutes away from home, I was not one happy mom. I gave Julie a tongue lashing that will not ever be repeated nor recorded. Just use your imagination. It was bad. You have to throw up twice before I come get you. So if you have a headache at school, if you Five, it's just like a little. Huh? Isn't it like five if it's just like a little? Um, if you throw up, you throw up. If you throw up twice, you call me. Be honest, how's school going? Really you great. Can. You love it? Yeah. Do you really? Yes. And you would tell me if you were having problems at school? Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. I can't even go to a friend's room. You can go to a friend's house, I why can't. not? 
Why? Because football starts in like an hour. Oh. Okay. Wait, what time do you have to take Russell to his game? Okay. I am not. What time do you have to take? I have to make dinner right now. I'm not taking you to the Verizon store right now. There you are. Mom, are you going to be able to take me to gymnastics or am I not going today? I don't think you should be able to go to gymnastics. If you call me and come home sick, I think one of the consequences is you don't get to go to gymnastics. You actually have to play sick. You should be laying in bed sleeping. All right. I am done with this conversation. I am going to go work in my beautiful garden, gardens in my yard. And then I'm going to make a delicious dinner. And I'm going to pretend that life is exactly how I want it. I'm going to go, right? get, I'm going to go get dressed for football. Um, you're going to have to go find your shorts. Oh, did you see the socks you threw at the side of the garden? And you are not going anywhere unless you pick up your junk. You've got crap thrown all around. No, so you see, now I'm using bad language. That's how bad of a mood I'm in. You get your socks picked up and don't you leave your stuff out anymore. Where? Right oh. over there. Run and go pick them up. And then give me 10 push-ups. Okay. Put them in your pocket so you can take them down to the hamper and drop and give me 10. One. Put your hands straight out. They're in. They're not supposed to be out. Shape your hands forward. There you go. One, two. two. Down further. Bring your butt down. 